This week's Ask Dr. Dury is what are the immediate or longer term uh, side effects from autologous stem cell transplant? This is really an excellent question because we tend to focus on should you have a transplant or not and there certainly has been some discussion back and forth on that particularly in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, the consensus opinion right now is that uh, if a patient is able to have a transplant and uh, would like to have a transplant, uh, in general we would recommend that an autologous stem cell transplant should be considered and conducted in an effort to try to achieve uh, the best boss, uh, possible outcome. However, what is a very legitimate question is, well, what are really the implications of doing that in terms of immediate and longer term side effects? Well, the, the initial transplant itself should be performed at a center with a documented track record for conducting transplant, and so this is a, an initial step. In this setting, uh, autologous stem cell transplant is generally quite safe with a very, very low risk of any kind of major uh, complications. Nonetheless, it's not a trivial procedure. Uh, after the high-dose melphalan, the significant impact of that therapy occurs one to two weeks uh, later uh, with uh, low white blood cell count and platelet counts, uh, a risk of infection and other side effects such as gastrointestinal side effects and the like. So at that two to three week time point, there are important side effects, but the patient typically will recover and do well uh, although there is an immediate recovery period of two to three months over which the blood counts are fully recovering and the patient is fully recovering from the impact of the high dose therapy. The question is at that point if the patient is doing well are there any longer term implications and strangely enough there really are not too many major uh, side effects that can linger from this procedure one is that the bone marrow may not 100% recover from the transplant, which means that uh, the bone marrow reserves are reduced and the blood counts may either be a little bit low or are really not so resilient if there is an infection or a bleeding problem. The other is that the high-dose melphalan can uh, induce uh, some slight increased risk of uh, second cancers occurring, that is a, a type of cancer other than myeloma, but we know that this is a risk with many of the therapies that we use uh, in myeloma therapy such as IMIDS, uh, Revlimid and the like, and so that this is not something uh, too unexpected. And so the bottom line is that in 2018, autologous stem cell transplant is still a recommended therapy if feasible and it is mostly a manageable procedure and for a majority of patients really not any crucial uh, initial and or uh, longer term uh, side effects to be uh, overly concerned about.